Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lugnus Monster, and today we do have some amazing news to cover, uh, mainly about Black Series and Vintage Collection, but we do have some Hot Toys news in there as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. We are also doing a giveaway on the channel. At 2,500 subs, we're giving away this Black Series Archive Commander Cody, and we're like 150 subs away, which is amazing. So if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. It helps out a lot. It actually did set a goal to hit. 2,500 subs by June 2nd, so we have about a week. I know we can do it, guys. We, we've gotten so much in the last few weeks, so thank you guys for the support, and let's hit 2,500 subs by next week. And then this one is also just a little ways away, but I did manage to get an extra uh, Black Series Echo, and that one will be at 5,000 subs. You know, it is a little ways away, but I did just want to announce it. So uh, you do have to be subscribed to the channel to enter in both the giveaways, so make sure you are subbed and on to the news. So first up in the news from Kyla Collector on Instagram, we do actually have images of the Gaming Greats Black Series Flame Trooper from Jedi Fallen Order in hand, and uh, I will throw those up right now. This guy's looking really, really nice. I do, again, love the Gaming Greats boxes. I just love that shade of blue. It's perfect, and uh, it just it's going to go great with all the rest of the new Gaming Greats figures. And uh, we actually do have an up close of like the f actual figure himself. He looks really nice, I do have to say. I, some people are saying he's just like a repaint of the Snow Trooper, which is definitely not true. He does have some brand new molds and stuff, and it just looks really nice. This is one I wish I would have uh, picked up. But uh, we, he actually does have a new weapon as well. I did not notice this from the promo images, but he's actually looking really nice with that uh, new blaster, which is looking nice. I guess it's a flamethrower, but it doesn't have a flame effect, which does really suck. I really wish they would have thrown in a flame flame effect. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, and he is looking really nice. But uh, GameStop's warehouses in Texas actually started to receive this figure, so uh, I would imagine you guys will start seeing the Gaming Greats uh, Flame Trooper in GameStop stores pretty soon within a few weeks. So make sure you check your GameStops if you do want this figure. Speaking of the Gaming Greats line, the Gaming Greats Vintage Collection figures actually started showing up in GameStop's warehouse as well. So uh, that is, I believe, the like Shadow Stormtrooper, Heavy Battle Droid, and uh, one more as well. I'll throw up the photo. But uh, yeah, these guys are actually showing up in that warehouse as well. So I would imagine you guys will about start actually start seeing these in stores rather soon. So get hyped about that because these are great and I'm glad they're actually now finally bringing the, the gaming greats to the vintage collection. If you do live next to a Disney World or land, uh, the Black Series Boba Fett is actually now starting to show up in Disney stores. So if you're looking for the Boba Fett, check your Disney stores if you live by one because they might just have it. There's a new figure that has uh, been leaked. It is exclusive to Target and will retail for $24.99. We don't know what this figure is yet, but it is codenamed Lunge, and uh, you know, it's just another Target exclusive. We don't we don't know what it is yet. We have a few guesses here and there, but nothing is confirmed yet. So uh, one thing that we do know about it, it is not a deluxe figure. It will be a standard figure because, of course, deluxe figures have that like thirty to thirty-five dollar price range, and this is twenty-five dollars. So it will be a standard figure and. Uh, we don't. This isn't confirmed, but I personally think that it will be revealed at uh, Hasbro's next Fan First Friday livestream, which is, I believe, like the beginning of June, like June 7th or something around there. It's on that Friday. So, yeah, definitely get hyped for that because it will be uh, revealed pretty soon, if I had to guess. And if you guys have been looking for Echo in stores, this one Target actually had 50-plus Echoes. And, uh, which is amazing because it's just Echoes. No Obi-Wans, no Anakins, no Hawks, just Echoes, which is good and bad. It's good because, you know, Target is well stocking these figures and it's something that's needing to happen for a long time. It's bad because this Target got 50 instead of, like, 10 to 20. It got 50, and that's a lot of Echoes that could have been, you know, distributed to more stores across the country. They all went to one store, and that is kind of a problem because, you know, those Echoes are going to peg warm for quite a while, you know, with 50 of them. There's only a limited amount of collectors in one area. And, you know, it, it would have been nice to, for them to actually, like, spread this out a little bit more. But, but on the other hand, why am I complaining? Because Echo is amazing, and I'm just happy that, you know, Target is well-stocking these figures. Some of the 50th anniversary comic book figures are actually now shipping out from Dorkside. So if you did pre-order this, check your emails for the confirmation, uh, like shipped emails, because you might be getting it in the mail pretty soon if you did 
pre-order it. Moving on to some Hot Toys news, the uh, Hot Toys Captain Rex, which is the uh, 1-6 scale or the 12-inch figure, has actually been delayed until sometime between September and October of 2021, which does really suck because we've been waiting for this guy for a long time now and it's just getting delayed. doesn't help that a lot, but you know, I just hope that they're delaying it for a good reason and it will get a pretty smooth release in that uh, small time period. And uh, as of right now, we do not know if this will affect any of the other, like, Clone Wars waves with, like, Ahsoka and the Deluxe 501st Trooper. As of right now, we don't think that's going to affect those releases, but it might. Next up, if you guys did pre-order the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Heroes of Endor 4-pack, that guy is actually now being, like, charged. If you did pre-order, Hasbro is charging your accounts now, which basically means it'll actually start shipping out rather soon, which is good because this guy's being delayed, like, over and over again. So, yeah, hopefully if you guys did pre-order this, it will be shipping really, really soon, which is just great. And last up in the news, just a restock alert. Uh, yesterday, the Sith Apprentice Mall, which is actually the uh, comic book mall, did go back up in stock at Dorkside Toys, which is amazing. So, not entirely sure if it's uh, still in stock, but go check it out right now at Dorkside because it still might be in stock. And same with Beskar Mando. Like I said, I haven't checked if it's still in stock, but go check Dorkside because it might still be. And if it is sold out, you know, keep refreshing the page every once in a while. Come back every few hours because you never know when it will go back in stock. They do tend to fluctuate in and out quite a bit, so you know, if you do want both these figures, you might want to keep on checking. And that is actually going to do it for the news today. If you guys did enjoy that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel, it does really help me out a lot. And like I said, we are doing the giveaway at 2,500 subs, which we're so close to, so if you would, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.